guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mariam. I am so excited today. I am doing a first impressions review of the new JLo X Inglot collection. I'm starting with the limited edition Freedom Palette, which just launched on the 17th, the day of the presale. Now the entire collection launches on the 26th and it has so many different products ranging from $8 to $49. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Now I know you're here because you're curious to know whether this palette is worth your time and worth your money. So let's get to this first impressions review and tutorial so I can spill the tea. If you like this video and if you like my channel, remember to subscribe, comment down below and leave me a thumbs up. Thanks guys, let's get to this video. Before we get to the first impressions and the tutorial, there's a very important question that we've all been asking ourselves. Every influencer that I know has been trying to get the tea on why JLo X Inglot? Why? I. I'm not super familiar with Inglot. They do a lot of work with Broadway shows. That's actually the reason why I've even been to some of their events and have tried some of their products. And their products are great. They're not super standout, but they are definitely very good. They're very professional, which is probably the reason why JLo decided to go for this collaboration with Inglot. I know a few influencers, some friends of mine were also just invited to Vegas for the big reveal of JLo X Inglot. It looked really awesome and I was just a pinch bit jealous, but that's okay because I've met JLo before. I met her through Motives Cosmetics and I'll pop in a picture right here so you guys can see. We took pictures with her. She was absolutely flawless, fantastic. So I am expecting a lot out of this collection because JLo is a quintessential makeup girl. She is just synonymous with glam, with gold, with glitter. And let me, let, let, let's see what the fuss is all about. All right. By the way, I did order the presale palette on the 17th. I did order it UPS next day air. However, the package arrived on the 20th. So it was not overnight by no means. And no, I did not get my $20 back. Just saying. I don't know if it was coming from Poland, but still should have gotten it overnight. So here we have the Freedom System palette. This is what the packaging looks like. Here is the bronzer, the three eyeshadows. I'm gonna open up the Freedom palette first. Ooh, I'm showing it to you guys before I'm even looking at it myself. Damn, okay, nice and magnetic. So the way that a freedom system works is that you pop in these individual components into the palette. Here we have the bronzer that I'm supposed to cut with scissors. Hopefully I have some scissors here. Hey. Zeus, it is just so hard. This packaging is airtight, come on. Okay, that was a bit of a mission. All right, let's pop this baby right in here. Whew, okay, it's in. All right, popping in the shadows, boom. Yeah, so we've got taupe, we've got pink satin, and we've got ivory. Bam, JLo baby. So this palette is $49, you guys, that is pretty pricey in my opinion, considering that it only includes three eyeshadows and one bronzer. I mean, a Natasha Denona palette is $129 and it has 15 eyeshadows. So I'm not a mathematician or anything, but you do the math on this. This is clearly much more expensive per shadow, or even if they were all bronzers, I still think it would be more expensive. But let's try this out. I already have my face on. I'm actually wearing Inglot's HD Full Coverage Foundation, which, is actually an old school favorite. I used to love this foundation for those days when I was breaking out real bad. So I might go back to this one because I feel like my skin looks pretty good. Not that it's breaking out right now, but it's looking pretty good. Let's try this mocha. Here's a swatch of the mocha. Let's see how it feels on the skin. Whoa, baby. That swatches pretty intensely. I mean, I am using a very, very, very dense brush, but this is pretty promising. This is exactly how Scott Barnes shapes her face and her forehead. This looks like the shade that he typically uses for her. As you can see, I've got the baby hairs going. So I'm inspired, you know? I love me some JLo. I am very much inspired by her looks. I love her makeup. I love her style. She's definitely iconic. I was also talking with someone yesterday who has worked with JLo on a completely separate project from makeup. And he told me that she is pretty involved. She's one of those people that likes to oversee the whole process. She likes her voice to be heard. So 
I'm imagining that she had a lot to say when it came to the colors, pigmentations, and quality of these products. I'm gonna contour the nose ever so slightly, even though with this powder, ever so slightly means a lot. So I've blended out the bronzer a bit with the Flower Beauty contour blush brush, and I've also blended it out a bit on my forehead, and I'm really, really liking the way that it's looking. I feel like it's looking very J-Lo. I will even go as far as saying that this is a very close favorite bronzer color to my Pixi Strobe and Bronze palette. I am really, really impressed. I'm gonna take this Wayne Gloss 06 brush, dip it into the bronzer. Ooh, 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 ooh that is nice, J-Lo. That is pretty. Just gonna start chiseling out this area here. So gonna apply a little bit more bronzer here, right under the brow, just to uh, sort of meet with my nose contour. I don't typically do this, but I think since we're doing a J-Lo look, this is kind of necessary. Next, I'm gonna pick up this shade here. Looks real powdery. Picks up a lot better with the finger, and you can see the subtle sparkles when you actually pick it up with the finger. Could be a little bit more pigmented, but I understand it's really not about the base of this color. It's really more about the sparkle, which is super subtle, but really noticeable. It's probably gonna look so beautiful in sunlight. Actually traveling to Orlando tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna take this whole palette along with me. I'm also gonna apply a little bit under the lower lash line. Did you guys see the whole collection on Cardi B's Instagram? I was shook. She literally revealed the entire thing days before anybody else saw it. Next, I'm gonna pick up Pink Satin. I feel so bad going over the JL logo. So cute. And I'm just gonna layer it over the inner portion of the lid. Ah, this color is just a little meh. I don't know, this color here, it's really not very pigmented. It looks pretty pigmented on my hand, but it just doesn't come off that way on my eye. It leaves me wanting more. Maybe if I try it wet. I've got my new fave over here, Fix Plus Goldie Light. Girl, you need this in your life. This baby is epic. Yeah, clearly there's a difference. Pink satin, I'm for you, girl, but I'm not that for you. Gonna go ahead and pick up the final color, Ivory. Ooh, and I'm gonna use it to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Ooh, this one is really nice. Highlight just the tip of my nose and the center right here. Also kinda sorta wanna use this, these two shades as a highlighter. I'm gonna try the pink one first. I'm gonna try the lighter one. Girl, that is niceness. Jenny. All right, I am gonna go ahead and finish up my look. I am gonna try to imitate this look that JLo is wearing here. So I'm gonna go for the red lipstick, blue background, the red top. <laughs> this top is definitely a little bit more Selena than JLo, but that's okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. This brings us to the end of this video. Here is the final look in its full glory. I added some red lips. I'm going to list all the products down below in the description so you can check them out. Check them out. Here are my thoughts. $49 for a palette of this size with just three eyeshadows and one bronzer is a little too steep, I'm not gonna lie. The quality is definitely there, the pigmentation is there, the shadows are versatile, they're very much on brand with Jennifer Lopez and her image. I quite like the color range, I like this particular palette, I will definitely use it and wear it again. And also, if you're a fan of JLo, if you're a fangirl like I am, then you might wanna pick up this palette on the 26th when it launches, along with the rest of the collection. I hear the price is going to be ranging from $8 to $49, so it looks like there's gonna be something for everyone to kind of pick at. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that. Sound off below. Tell me what you thought of this video. What do you think of this look? Will you buy this palette? Will you invest your time in looking at this collection? What do you think of Inglot? What do you think of JLo X Inglot? I wanna know your thoughts. Leave them down there. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos right here, and I will see you guys in the next time. What?